Hey, welcome back, everyone. It is your host and friend here, PCJ, the Pop Culture Junkie, along with the Dungeon Master himself, Jordan. Woo. So today we're checking out the uh, November 2018 RPG Crate, which, of course, Jordan has been subscribed to uh, with RPG Crate for well over a year. And Brandon, you know, very kind, bringing him over here to check out on the channel with us. And they've got all kinds of really cool items, uh, whether you are a advanced uh, Dungeon Master like Jordan himself, amateur player, whatever. If you're into the role-playing scene, you're going to get kind of all mm -hmm. kinds of cool items uh, all kinds of necessities you need to just make your campaign go more the, the more successful. Uh, what do we know about this month's box? I know that the theme is Terror Torn. All right. As far as anything else about it, I know that there was some sort of bird creature on their little announcement, and that's about it. Okay. All right, we're going to get to the unboxing, but if you, the viewer, would like to subscribe, go to RPGCrate.com, and you can subscribe to the next month's box. Also, you can go to their website just to see what they have available because you can also purchase items uh, that you'll find in this box as well as items from previous boxes. They may even have full boxes available from previous months as well that you can subscribe to uh, or purchase. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and check out what they've got for uh, November. Yeah, let's see what's up. So first item, as always, is a little cheat sheet for Terror Torn. I'm going to put this over to the side. Mm -hmm. So the real first item is a t-shirt. Ooh, it's interesting to get something that's not black or gray. Yeah. So, it's actually really right. cool. So it's there's sort the... of like vulture dragon or something like that. Yeah, that's right. Okay. So there's the bird demon that you were saying might be in here. Yeah. Okay. Looks pretty awesome. I'm liking this so far. I like the design. It's different. Normally, sometimes you get uh, like just a character person or a creature. This actually looks kind of like, this looks a little more like what they would used to put on those uh, bookmarkers. The oh, yeah. yeah. They did bookmarks for a while. Yeah. They also have, like, little strips that they put on top of all the one-page adventures mm -hmm. that are some of their artwork. Just looks like they took it from there, mm -hmm. just put it on a t-shirt. But yeah. I like it. I always like their artwork. It's a good change. Mm -hmm. I like it. Cool. I also like that it's brown instead of black this time. Yeah, right. Which, of course, give me more black shirts. I love them, but it's a cool change. Yeah. I've got a lot of black shirts in my in my closet from subscription boxes, and mm -hmm. yeah, it's like I'm going through a goth phase. <laughs> <laughs> goth is in the phase. It's a lifestyle. There you go. <laughs> well, let's see what the next item is. Looks like we got two bags of things this time. All right. Ooh. So we have an enamel pin. Nice. Haven't had that in a while. Oh, is that a gelatinous cube? That was like your favorite thing whenever we had our campaign going. Yeah, so this is a gelatinous yeah. cube enamel pin, and I've started to put these on my uh, on my laptop case because I use my laptop to help me DM, and I've already got two dice. I've got a red and a green one, so this is actually a welcome addition, mm -hmm. and I love gelatinous cubes. Yeah. Because what's more threatening than just a big cube that every time you hit it, it hits you with acid damage <laughs> and tries to swallow you? Yeah. Now, you know, we've been uh, doing these unboxings for a while, and they always have the uh, effing cool miniatures in the boxes. Mm -hmm. It would be awesome to see an effing cool miniature of a gelatinous cube. Oh, that would be That'd so be sweet. cool. All right, RPG Crate, you listening? Okay, yes. take notes. There we go. Yeah, just give me a big metal cube. <laughs> oh, that would be so great. Yeah. I like it. So, the next item we got is an effing cool miniature. miniature. All right. And this Whoa. is different. So, instead of, like bees or a goblin or something like that looks like we have some sort of obelisk is it just like a building like a structure yeah that's different yeah usually it's a person or a beast or something like that a imagine character. this is like an obelisk some people can be worshiping or something like that i like all the different writings and stuff they have on there yeah that looks really that nice looks super cool i can't wait to paint that and every time I see him i just got to comment on the name that's the coolest company name ever mm -hmm. absolutely <laughs> see next item we got in the box we've got our recipe for adventure okay so this is fried bat wings mm. Mm. yeah that's gonna be good and of course with these they have the recipe on the front and a little area usually you either get the uh the materials for the recipe or where you can find the recipe there and like have somebody cook it sometimes they'll have like a tavern sometimes they'll have this is Looks like a cave where you can actually find the bats. They've got the monster stats for the swarm of bats on the bottom there. Mm -hmm. But let's get a close up of this recipe so that way y'all can pause the video and see it. Yeah, there we go. Now, one thing I saw cool on uh, RPG Creates Facebook 
is that somebody actually hosted a party at their house where they took all the recipes that they've got from the past crates and made a big buffet of all those recipes. So they had stuff like the goblin fingers and like, uh, oh man, I can't even remember what the rest of the recipes were. But that was always my favorite. Oh yeah, like the owlbear, st- owlbear steaks and stuff yeah. they had on there. Yeah, they threw a big party. They made the tavern, which is the Bloody Bucket, which is their uh, PDF that they send you whenever you subscribe to RPG Crate that connects all of their one-page adventures to one mm. big adventure. Nice. Because it's all the tales from the Bloody Bucket. That sounds fun. Yeah, which is like a storytelling thing. Yeah. So it's like, oh, well, you have a guy who tells you the story and then he shoots you off into this adventure. Yeah. No, that's really cool they did that with the food and the recipes and everything, too. Yeah. So next up... Ooh, we have another... Double yeah, recipe? recipe. Okay. Yeah. Blackened Sahuagin. Okay. I think. Sorry did, for did better than that I would have. Did better than I would have. Yeah. Okay. So what? Is, okay. So the first one was basically kind of wings. What's this one? This one I think is this guy up here. This little bird thing with claws. So fillets and butter and spices. Okay. Oh, I actually like this. The warning, this is an outdoor recipe. It creates a lot of smoke. <laughs> yeah. That's actually a pretty good warning. Yeah. <laughs> so let's get you the recipe right there. Get that glare out of there. Yeah. Our next item we got looks like our one-page adventures. All right. I'm definitely liking these just because the orange, and orange is my favorite color. Okay. Setting sun, monastery depths, and village in the sky. Yeah. How we got about wait. wait. Do we, oh, there we oh, go. There we go. And, and right. yeah, there we go. A, yeah. B, and C. <laughs> yeah. Alright. And with these, these are something you can always buy on their website. So if you missed it this month or you missed it last month or you had one like the giant one that you really wanted to uh that you really wanted to try out, you can go on their website, you can buy the one page adventures just themselves. Or, of course, you can subscribe so you get all the goodies, which I do recommend because all the goodies are nice. Yeah. And these, I always have so much fun with these, getting inspiration for my campaigns just because they have an entire adventure just on one page. They have how it begins, the background, everything like that, all the monster stats on the bottom that you would need for that specific adventure. And it gives you everything laid out on one sheet of paper so you don't mm-hmm. have to have a bunch of books. That's- and they're all super good quality, yep. laminated. I, I love these things. Yeah, they're great. They're handy, and it's, it's something good again. And you know, Jordan's got his campaigns that he's always uh, DMing for, so you can always bring one of these out and just completely surprise everybody and be like, "Hey, guess what? Didn't see this coming." Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Plus, I think right now I have a stack probably about that big of them at the moment. I'm waiting until I can just stack them all the way up into a crate. Yeah, yeah. it's gonna nice. be fun. So next up in this box, we've got what looks to be. Our book. All right. And this is something they add in every like every box. They always have all the goodies. They have the shirt. They have the minis. They have the uh, one-page adventures. But they also have a full book that they usually go out to people like uh, Necromancer Press, the Frog God Games, and looks like Goodman Games. And they'll actually help them publish a book for... The RPG crate. It's usually in black and white, but sometimes you get color. And these are always just a huge fountain of inspiration or just a full adventure from like level one to five, something like that. Just having a lot of fun with it. Nice. That's a good value too for everything you can get out of there. Mm -hmm. Looks like this one is actually uh, 10 bucks on its own. So Mm -hmm. that's already a third of the price of the crate. Yeah. Which, the figure, the pen, the shirt, that's already making yeah. your money, and then the one-page adventures and the recipes. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. yeah I, I, I still say RPG Crate is one of the best values. Easily. Next and up in the up. crate, we've got our last item, which is always the Dragon Foam. Hmm? And this is a really good resource, mainly because if you got minis that you have a big case for, you don't want them to get ruined, you can actually tear this off because it's all perforated. And whenever you tear this off, you can form it to the case that you have. Or you can do what I've been doing recently, which I'm actually building a castle out of these things, gluing mm. them together. And 
each of these little pieces comes off and you can actually stack them together and mm. make something and basically where, bricks then yeah make bricks i'm trying to make like a full fortress which is mm. going to be several layered it's probably going to be as big as this table we got here that i'm trying to make yeah you gotta start bringing us photos we gotta see yeah. we need to see like a step-by-step -step progress of this yeah it's hard to do it i've only got little bits of it because i'm only living in a small apartment and i don't have sure. a lot of space yeah i'm probably going to get the whole thing built whenever i get a house yeah but I've got so far the entrance mm -hmm. and a little bit past that. Cool. Yeah. So I think that's everything. All right. Let's go ahead and we'll check out the cheat sheet and make sure yeah. we got everything we should. Looks like we got everything out of the box. Let's do it. All right. So let's go ahead and check out the cheat sheet. We'll make sure we got everything and see what all was you know, supposed to be here, of course. Mm -hmm. So we got our exclusive T-shirt, which is right there. And uh -huh. we were right how they took like a little well, piece yeah, of right. one-page adventure and put it on there. Yeah. They... Looked like they kind of washed out the color a bit, but I do appreciate that because I think the brown shirt with all this blue and stuff like that mm. would look really weird. Yeah, would I like that a lot though. Yeah. Then we have our premier metal miniatures from Evan Cole Miniatures, yeah. which I which I was just saying again, it's really surprising that they did something different. Usually, it's been characters, beasts, monsters, etc. Uh, it's nice to see like a structure, a building, and maybe they'll do that more. I'd like to see like. Hey, make a little inn or cottage or whatever, something like that. Inn would probably be a little much. Mm, I mean, they could do something small. Yeah. Something like that. Maybe a little small house or building of some sort. It can't oh, be yeah. a castle, of course, but who knows. Yeah, but I definitely like that. Yeah, it's cool. a little something for people to worship. And we've got our RPG pin, which is our gelatinous cube, mm. which, again, hey, RPG crate and effing cool miniatures. Maybe make a gelatinous cube one. Because that would be amazing just to have this big block of gelatinous cube. Yeah. And they can put a lot of detail in it. It doesn't have to be... It could be a rock-solid figure. And it can put a lot of detail in it. Just uh, what you see here. You got a skeleton, sword, all that stuff coming out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm interested to see Then you can paint it any way you that. want to as well and make it any kind of color. That, yeah. I think it'd yeah. be cool. I think that'd be awesome. Yeah. So next up, we have our recipes for adventure. We got these guys right here. Mm -hmm. We got the fillets and the bat wings. I definitely want to try something smoky. Yeah. Usually they have sweet, mm -hmm. so it's gonna be nice. And we've got Warlock, which is our fifth edition fantasy mm -hmm. from Goodman Games, which is a name that has been popping up in RPG Crate these past couple months. And mm -hmm. I think their stuff is definitely worth reading. Okay. We've got the Dragon Foam, which is right here. Mm -hmm. And our legendary adventures, which are the one page adventures. So we have the village of the sky, the monastery depths, and the setting sun. Yeah, I, I'm liking this box so far. Yeah, once again, great variety, and everything in here can be used and will be used. So it's not like I never see filler. I really never, I don't see filler with RPG Crate, which is one of the things I like about it. And I know it's coming handy with you for all your, your DMing for your campaigns. You've always got mm -hmm. something to throw at your players that they don't see coming. And, you know, from the minis to the books about the characters and different uh, settings that you can use, the one-page adventures. Yeah, it's, just, it's a great box. So I think, once again, great job, RPG Crate. And uh, everyone out there watching, if you have not seen one of our unboxings before, uh, first of all, shame on you. Go check out the play playlist. We've got a whole bunch of these to watch. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you have not checked them out before, now you're seeing it for the first time, go to RPGCrate.com, and you can subscribe to the next month's box. And also, you can try to purchase certain items in here. If you saw something you really liked and you missed out on this box, you can still go to their website, and maybe they got it in stock to purchase on their site. Uh, but yeah, so if you did enjoy the video, as always, please make sure... So leave us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. Also check out the comment section and be sure to leave some comments on the video itself, the items. And remember, we've got a DM right here. So if you have questions, thoughts, concerns, anything at all to do with DMing, tabletop, one-page adventures, effing cool managers, whatever. If you got questions and you want some help, advice from your own uh, campaign, Dungeon Master Jordan right here is going to answer any questions you have. Uh, so leave the comments and on the next video we'll bring it up and discuss it. Uh, anything else you want to add about this month's crate? No, I think I'm good. I just right. love it. All right. Another winner. Jordan's happy, so we're happy. Excellent. All right, guys, gals, we'll see you next time on the next unboxing. And Jordan, as always, thank you so much for bringing these over and sharing them with us. I always enjoy it. Me too. All right, guys. Talk to you all later. This is PCJ and Jordan. We're signing out.